who you think has been your biggest rival on your show? I think in the beginning, I, I would say Cherise. I don't know if y'all remember her. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. And there was a fireman situation. Oh yeah. Um, but I mean, Karen just loves to hate oh. herself. So I mean, it, it would be the grand dame it herself. So good. If, it is so good. Yeah. If I was friends with someone that looked like you, I'd be hating on you. Too. Right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I suppose, is that a compliment? I don't yes, know it's, it's the biggest compliment. You are literally Hot. one of the most stunning women I've Hot. ever seen. Oh. Oh. So are you. you. Know, so Thanks. crazy so about are you. what she just said. So my hairstylist was in the back room with us, and he whispers to me, he was like, that girl over there looks like you. And I was like, who? And he was talking about you. Oh. He's like, shut the <laughs> <f> <laughs> up. Yes. 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 All right, I can die happy after <laughs> that, girl. I love this yes. whole so day I now. Do. So are you. If you could go on a vacation with anyone from a different Bravo show, where would you go and why? Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Uh, Giselle. Giselle for me. <laughs> Lala and I are going on vacation. I'll yes. take you somewhere real nice, girl. <laughs> I like it. Does it ever really get to you what viewers say and tweet and post? Yeah. Or do you just say, sure. you know what? This is not going to affect me. It Actually, used yeah. to, but now I try and just own my sh and It's like, like, especially season four when we were dealing with my husband's addiction at the time, I was very uneducated on that and it showed. Mm -hmm. And I just mm -hmm. got ripped a new asshole on the internet. But it made me get educated and inform myself of things that I had no idea about. So yeah. it was really hard to see all of that because I knew they were right, mm -hmm. but it helped me grow as a person. Yeah. yeah. So it's just doing the right thing with the hate you get and turning it into something positive. Right, right, that's yeah. good. Well, I was pregnant when all that stuff was going down with Michael and the tabloids, so I actually had to limit my comments on Instagram because they were so savage. And it wasn't really good for my mindset and for my baby, for the health of my child. I had to become Ashley the mom and not Ashley the yeah. reality TV star. Yeah. So that was the hardest part. I right? try now to call myself out before they can. So I'm like, I already yeah. know what you're gonna say, uh -huh, and yes, uh -huh. I agree with you, but uh -huh. like, even yesterday I posted a picture, I'm like, yes, I know I don't have boobs. So you don't need to comment <laughs> that on my photo, I'm aware. That is so rude. It's true, it's true. But if I call it out for a buy you <laughs> like, I think that the negativity really gets to me, like I just know that I'm that type of person. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it for me to see all of these amazing comments. I know this sounds so <laughs> but I just am being honest. And then to see the one negative comment, and I fixate on that. Yep. So I deleted my Twitter. I was like, this, I can't control what I'm seeing, so I'm getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. And then with my Instagram, I just don't look at those things. Like, I'm good at holding myself accountable. I don't need some stranger in f Wisconsin to tell me that my behavior was wrong. Yes. I got myself, I got my mama, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love, I try to respond to everybody if you guys tweet or Instagram me. I try to respond. But like sometimes, you know, when you're just like, you're a f***ing ugly bitch, I'm like, okay, thank you, God bless. <laughs> um, but it does, it's hard not to focus. You yeah. can read a hundred wonderful things and then, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. my wedding got a little crazy, like, there was no food? Oh, I heard you didn't have chairs. And I was like, who doesn't have chairs at a reception? Come on now. <laughs> like, you know, but you, you get so focused on it that, you know, by the time you're done, you're like calling PR going, uh, 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 uh. Y'all say something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Okay, I want to go around, because this is what they all want to know, for oh. sure. Oh. And I want to know who you think has been your biggest rival on your show. From oh, start God. to finish, yeah. not just like right now. Mine has always been the very largely uh, entertaining MJ. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Whoa. And uh, <laughs> I got that. I got it. It was delayed, but I got it. Hey. Because Reza was her BFF, he sort of, you know, always had her back regardless. So it was just mm. sort of, that was, the, it was kind of the two of them. And they were all the ringleaders, so the other ones little trolleyed around wherever they went. But yeah, MJ's, yeah. A, MJ's a, you know, very smart cookie, very clever. She knows how to make you love her and need her. And then she just kind of comes out of nowhere with like one of those little snakes and just gets you. So <laughs> y'all don't see how I feel about her. Okay, all right. Leanne. Yes. 
In what way have you changed, do you think, since season one? Or oh. have you not? No, I think I've grown. I mean, listen, you watch yourself on television, and just like all of you, you watch me and you're like, she knows she's crazy, right? And I'm like, yeah, look at myself. I'm like, damn, I'm crazy. <laughs> like, like the first party in season one, you're like, okay, I know this scene's gonna go really well because I only have like two margaritas. And then you're like, I love you like, bitch, you need to learn to count. That is not two margaritas. <laughs> like, you see yourself back and you're like, oh, wow. And then, you know, the next season comes around and you're like, okay, note to self, hold drink in front so no one can pour while you got it over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, every year you learn and you're like, okay, yeah, might be a little angry, need to work on that. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all want go look for the meditation bowl, it's got some dents in it. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> but you know, you do, you, you learn a lot. I, I, I will say being on reality TV is the best therapy you could yeah. ever have. 100%. Because you get to see yourself as you are, if you're willing to be you. You. Yeah. True. I mean, to the core, this is the color of my pee. That's me. Um, and that's, you know, and then you look at you and you're like, oh, I see what they're saying. When it comes to talking behind each other's backs, because y'all do that professionally. Oh, yeah, that's, no. <laughs> but is there anything, to tell is there anything that's like off limits? Like, I won't, I'm not going to go there behind someone's back. Like, do you guys have kind of an a, agreement or oh, nothing? Yeah. I, yes, I have yes, no yes. limits. I have no limits. <laughs> if you come for me, you deserve whatever the hell flies out of me. Good <laughs> lord. <laughs> um, we have pretty much said to each other, kids are off limits. Okay. Yes. For sure. Um, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. True. Anything it's short, it's short I short. say behind yes. someone's back, I would also say to their face. Yeah. Right. So I never feel on bad our when show. I say we definitely say. have things that we talk to each other about where it's like that could alter your entire life and I'm not doing that to you. Right. It's not needed to make an entertaining show. Right, right. Yep. Yeah. right. Um, it always seems funny to me when I watch you guys talk behind each other's back because it, you're, there's a camera there. <laughs> have you forgotten? Yes, we this have. This is being captured? They're like a part of our bodies, it's I feel. So like Does it really point, disappear? Right? Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You don't I notice don't, the you, cameras yeah. are there. Nope. If we knew that the cameras were there and we just stopped, then we would be fake. Right, right. right. You know, yeah. we're, we were doing it. That's just us. We're yeah. saying what we would say with or without a camera. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. The good news is on my show, the cameramen stay a little bit away from me now. <laughs> okay, Ashley, oh, yeah. who gets themselves into the most trouble on Potomac? Like runs uh, right me. into it. Uh, you? Yeah, oh, for okay. sure. Yes. Uh, I have a lot of foot and mouth moments, um, and I am pretty unfiltered. And it doesn't always play out very well with my friends. Yeah, some of them judge me a little harshly. Well, because oh. you look so sweet, and then you come in like this... <laughs> pit bull and it's like they don't know what to expect. <laughs> that's, that's, right. that's right. You never yeah. underestimate us. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, it's Stassi from Vanderpump Rules. Click here to subscribe to the Bravo channel and here to watch more videos from Vanderpump Rules.